Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day. It's been about 12 hours since I sprayed the clear on those table bases. Um, and I got a little bit of dirt and stuff in it, and it was a little orange peely. Um, so I was going to wet sand and buff it this morning, but you know what? I thought rather than wet sanding and buffing it, let's just sand it down with some 320, some red scotch bright pads, and we'll do a flow coat of clear over top. What that's going to do is going to lay down a lot smoother and we're not going to have to deal with wet sanding and buffing. Um, these don't have to be perfect. These are going in a restaurant. There is a big um, live edge 26 foot top that's going on these. Um, so that's going to be covered you know, by this top. You're only going to see the sides of them. So it's not like we need to make them perfect. But um, in my opinion, it was quicker for me to sand it down with some 320 and a red scotch brake pad. And um, we're gonna shoot two light coats of clear over top just to smooth everything out and uh, um, make it look a lot better than it does and not have to worry about wet sanding and buffing. So let's go out there, I'll show you. I sanded it down real quick this morning with some 320 and then hit it with some scotch brake pads. Then I wiped it down with some window cleaner and then I uh, tack ragged it off. So they're ready for clear. So we're gonna go ahead and throw two coats of clear on here. I did blow out my filters this morning just enough to get them to flow better. So you can see that they're flowing good because you can see the fans behind them. So now you can see through the filter. So now you know it's gonna suck out the uh, fumes a lot quicker. So let me get some uh, clear mixed up here and we're going to put two coats on these that should look a lot better than they did yesterday. Like I said, they probably would have been fine if I just wet sanded out a little bit of dirt and knocked down the orange peel a little bit. But to be honest with you, I just didn't feel like wet sanding and buffing today. So this is my next uh, easiest method. So I wiped it down with this uh, spray away window cleaner and then I used a tack cloth and wiped all the dust off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some more of this. We're gonna use the same clear again. Um, it seems to work pretty good. It might be a hair thick. I think I'm gonna put 10% reducer in it just to thin it a hair more and get it to um, atomize out of the gun a little bit better. Um, that should help with the orange peel as well.
Okay, first coat time. The stupid hose flocked and hit the bottom of both legs, but it didn't do any damage. I, I sprayed a little bit of clear over it and it went right away. It just made like a little tiny, um, just a scuff in the wet clear, but it went away, so we're good. Um, yeah, the hose just keeps like twisting on me and spinning around. Um, filters, that filter is amazing, way better than it was last night. Should have cleaned it out last night. But anyways, um, that's the first coat. I'm gonna give that a good 10 minutes to dry. Reason why you wanna give that a little bit extra time to dry is when you're spraying clear over clear, it's like spraying water on glass. Um, it's gonna to wanna to run a lot easier on you because it's such a smooth surface. So doing a light to medium coat of clear gives you an adhesive basically onto that smooth glass surface and it gives it something for the next coat to stick to. So I'm gonna give that a good 10 minutes. I do have the heater going, it's 80 degrees right now in there, which is perfect spraying temperature, I think. For, I, that's usually what I like to spray at. Um, so 10 minutes, we'll come back, we'll throw another coat on. They're looking really good. Like I said, they don't need to be perfect, but I didn't want to send them on their way half-assed or spend three hours wet sanding and buffing them. So this, in my opinion, was the A, cheaper, quicker, easier way to do it. So I'm going to mix up some more clear and we're going to go out there and put the second coat on.
Okay, they're done. I gotta get them dry so that they can pick up later on in the day. Should not be an issue. They look a million times better. Let's go take a look at them before I turn the heat on. Um, look way, way better. to do a really 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 nice job of the flare flow coat i would do a third coat of clear if it were me just to smooth it out just a hair more but in this situation we don't need to do that i honestly want to have a tiny bit of orange peel in those because when you have orange peel and clear it tends to not scratch as easy um, when you sand clear perfectly mirror flat it scratches extremely easy seeing that this is going to go in a restaurant they're going to be wiping it down with dirty towels um, that probably fall on the floor with rocks in them and everything else. So the probably just going to scratch the crap out of them over time anyways. But at least having a little orange peel is going to give it a little bit more durability in my opinion. Plus when you don't wet sand and buff, you don't seem to take that top layer off and that seems to be the hardest in my opinion. Uh, so it holds up the best. So alright guys, that's it. Just a quick video on doing flow coating. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.